Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about the best NASs of the year for surveillance. This year, 2019, has been a real year for network surveillance on NAS. Whether you're going to utilize your NAS drive as a standalone NVR solution, or you're looking for more of a hybrid solution for your backups, your VMs, and to maximize that investment, looking at surveillance, all of the big NAS brands right now have their own bespoke NAS software for surveillance included. And today I want to talk about right now at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, the very best NAS solutions that you guys should be looking at for surveillance needs. This applies to both home and business users, although of course there are going to be a different kind of depth of what you can get out of these devices. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right now, uh, my first pick of the best NAS to buy right now, not necessarily released this year, in fact released towards the beginning of 2018, I am talking about the 873 series. This is both the TVS and the TS. This AMD powered NAS from QNAP just gives you the very most right now for surveillance from QNAP in terms of sheer storage potential. This 8-bay solution with 4 and 6 bays available as well arrives with support of QVR Pro as well as 8 camera licenses. There's the usual support of things like Plex Media Server, uh, virtual machine use with a myriad of different applications from virtualization station to container station, Linux station and more. And a host of PCIe slots that allows you to add better network interface ports from 1 GBE to 5 GBE, 10 GBE, GBE and greater. But in terms of surveillance, you do have support of two different applications. You have first their older surveillance station application, which is quite a forensic looking tool and isn't the most user friendly. But you've also got the great new QVR Pro, and that's where your eight camera licenses are going to come in very handy indeed. Now, I should have mentioned really at the top of this video, when you are buying a NAS drive for surveillance, it's worth highlighting that although the NAS, when you buy it, it arrives with surveillance software included from QNAP, you've got Surveillance Station and QBR Pro, Synology have Surveillance Station, I think um, Acer Store have Surveillance Control Center, that sort of thing. When, when these surveillance applications are included, they seem like they're included in the price. But once you use a certain number of cameras, you have to pay to use more cameras. And this is how they um, are able to fund the enterprise quite comprehensive security software. And this is where camera licenses come in. So a number of vendors, and particularly home users as well, think about how many cameras they're going to utilize and have to factor that into the cost. Most camera licenses will cost you between 30 and 50 pounds per camera, but you will always get a bunch of free camera licenses included with the NAS. So if you think about you need two, four or more cameras, you can then buy the right NAS accordingly. Because the 873 series arrives with eight camera licenses and support for up to 40 cameras at once, there's an enormous level of story to be working with straight off the bat. And that AMD powered CPU arrives in both a graphically enabled uh, version with a Radeon R7 component with embedded graphics and a non GPU powered CPU as well. So based on the cameras you're gonna use, or the other ways in which you're going to maximize the NAS's in, uh, in the investment you've made in this device, you can choose between these two different versions. But that is kind of what I think, in terms of storage potential, the best surveillance NAS to buy at the end of this year. But moving forward from that, we look at, look at two more solutions, and these are far, far newer and are more exciting in their own way. The next one I want to talk about is the Synology DVA3219. Now, this is a real doozy. This is uh, a four-bay Synology NAS, but also arrives with an NVIDIA graphics card inside. It arrives with support of both DSM and Surveillance Station as the direct mode of access with all the applications and advantages, clients and mobile apps and more that that brings. Most NAS vendors right now produce their surveillance software as well as client applications for PC and Mac and mobile applications for iOS and Android. But to date, the most user-friendly one so far is the Synology one. QBR Pro from QNAT comes real, real close. 
but Surveillance Station from Synology is definitely one of the best um, surveillance platforms out there for NAS. On top of that, they are moving into the AI-powered area of surveillance with the DVA3219 being a prime example. This device arrives with AI recognition and uh, intelligent surveillance. So, for example, in the examples we talked about earlier in the year, when, you are, when the cameras are monitoring a certain area, you can set up AI-powered triggers that are created by the system analysing footage live. So, for example, all cameras these days, IP cameras for NAS and NAS surveillance software, has motion, de motion detection. So someone walks in front of the line of camera and it goes, whoop, spotted, and an alert gets sent. On top of that, you've got scheduled recording. You've even got zonal recording where you can say, this door here, anything moves there, I want to know, but the rest of it, I don't care. DVA3219 and Deep Video Analytics allows the camera and the CPU to make intelligent decisions based on what it sees. So if you've set it up that you've got an area in the camera line of view, say here, and you want no item to stop in this region for any length of time. You can set it up so whether it's a car or an unattended bag, if someone walks into shot and they're still moving, no trigger will happen. If they walk through, drop a bag on the floor or park their car there and walk away, after a, a predetermined number of seconds or minutes based on how you want to set it up, if this item doesn't move, then it will trigger an alert. It will then send the notifications accordingly to connected users. The same goes for recognition and counting. So you can set it up where if you have a doorway, rather than get alerts, you can just count the number of users that go in and out of a door. And it even includes the mathematics of the plus and the minus. And then at the end, you can see how much motion or traffic is given past a certain point. The same goes for thing recognition, such as trees, vehicles, people and more, where you can say in a certain area with loads of people walking, I do not want a vehicle to enter the line of view. If that happens, notify me. And that is what will happen. And vice versa. Intelligent surveillance is something that's becoming just slowly but surely introduced into the world of NAS surveillance. And I'm definitely seeing Synology take the lead on this with that device. Now, it is worth mentioning it's the only device from their lineup that takes advantage of these features because it needs a GPU card in order to power it. This NAS arrives with a fairly mid-range CPU in the Intel Atom C3538. But the device itself arriving with several camera licenses is geared precisely for those that take surveillance very seriously. And although it seems very expensive from the off, you have to factor in the deep video analytics and the increased number of camera licenses. Now, what have QNAP got as an answer to this? Well, in terms of innovation, you can't fault them on the Guardian Switch. This is a cool device, and you're going to hear a lot about this device from me in the coming months. It is a 16-port power over Ethernet managed switch that also has a NAS inside. It has a two-bay Intel-powered NAS component on one side, and the other side, a 16-port PoE powered switch with two SFP combo ports as well. What that means is rather than buying a NAS for surveillance and then having to buy a switch and a bunch of cameras uh, that are going to funnel into that switch and maybe a PoE switch to power the cameras, as many outdoor cameras do not have any other power source than their LAN connection, the Guardian arrives with the NAS inside. It's got QVR Pro, that great software, the apps and the clients and everything on top of that eight camera licenses but also it arrives with 16 ports of um, poe powered rj45 four of them being high powered poe plus plus the result is that you can connect all the cameras directly to this switch or ip surveillance uh, doors and locks alarm systems and ip uh, speakers run them all into the switch and the nas can communicate with that part of the device, the switch. And that means you now have a contained one piece solution. The device even arrives at quite an affordable five to 600 quid as well, which given the cost of two bay Intel powered NASs and the cost of a managed PoE switch with quality of service, um, um, link aggregation and direct access over LAN or remote access over the internet, 
it is an incredibly powerful device. And in terms of surveillance potential, it is definitely the best in terms of affordability, power, utility, and more. And with QVR Pro introducing facial recognition and no doubt thing and item recognition, rivaling that of deep video analytics in 2020, it is definitely a good time to invest in this kind of technology. Those have been my top three NASs for surveillance of the year. Do let me know if there's any questions you've got about the right NAS for you. Put it in the comments. Visit the NAS Compare link in the description to learn more. And I'll see you guys next time.